you all are doing well welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're true to this not new to this welcome to the party but this is your first time here we welcome you one time we welcome you two times and welcome you three times to the zero community you are welcome so in today's video i'm doing my spring hygiene target shopping haul it's spring well actually spring was like two days ago but with the weather change i feel like it's time for me to kind of switch up my products especially beauty and skincare just trying to find things that will tend to more glowy skin more of looking refreshed and i don't know just really showing off my melanin or whatever so that's what we're gonna do here in tarjay it's a little pack today it's a little pack so i'm gonna try to not be so shy and actually give you guys the full experience like i did in my first target haul if you haven't checked that out i'll link it in the card for you to check it out yeah baby let's go it's windy out here all right you guys so we just made it to Target. i'm in the beauty section and i was trying to find some stuff to create a new lip combo with as I'm advancing with my makeup routine, I want to start implementing more lip type of combos, but I don't see the one that I saw someone recommend from e.l.f. on TikTok. I see that e.l.f. has like this lip balm, and it kind of reminds me of like the Laneige lip balms that they have, and I'm just like, ooh, should I give this a try? Should we see what it's giving? I think we will. So I'm gonna try it in peach. I absolutely love my Laneige and I'm definitely running out so I need to make a run to Sephora someday but until then I'm gonna give this a try and see what it's giving also I've been seeing a lot of people rave about elf's liquid blush on melanated skin if you're true to this not new to this you know that I absolutely love my blushes right but i kind of want to get into liquid blush but i don't know if i'm that advanced to get into liquid blush just yet but the one that caught my eye was this camo high pigment liquid blush by elf i'm trying to see what color it is oh it's cool coral crush this is the one that caught my eye i think somebody used this on instagram it was absolutely beautiful on her skin but like i said i don't think i'm there just yet so I'm not gonna sit here and play makeup today. I'm not. I'm here on a mission. And also when it comes to e.l.f., I absolutely love their makeup brushes. I have like the 30 pack set. Um, I can link it down below for you guys if you want. It comes with like a little case. It has like all your brushes and what have you. So I absolutely love that. When it comes to my primers, I usually use like the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, but Milk sent me their um, primer that everyone absolutely loves and adores. So I'm gonna give that one a try today when I do my makeup. And then to take it off, I did end up buying, where is it at? Oh, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration makeup melting cleansing balm y'all this is so amazing again as someone's a beginner in makeup i absolutely love it so i found the nyx section that kind of has like the things that i need only it doesn't have what i need because they're out of stock with a lot of things but i did find like two glosses particularly that i wanted to give a try today the nyx fat oil and the shade status update i kind of want to do like a chocolate lip type of thing and so i feel like that would be cute when paired with a lip liner and i was looking for brownie dip or something like that but y'all i couldn't find that so the other thing that i ended up getting was like the nyx butter gloss if you don't know now you know nyx butter gloss is that girl but i got it in the shade fortune cookie to try to do like a nude on my dark skin so we'll see how that goes stay tuned for that but i'm gonna have to probably go to ulta beauty because target don't got nothing today So we're just gonna focus on skincare and body care since I'm gonna have to go to Ulta for that type of stuff. But I was looking at the Tree Hut body scrubs and I used to be so obsessed with these. My favorite one was like the vitamin C one. And they also had, ooh, the Tropical Glow. Y'all, I feel like this is just so perfect with us transitioning to warmer weather because you want your skin to be like really smooth and you know, just soft. But I think I'm good on that for today. Actually though, I actually might give vanilla a try, especially since I feel like it would be good paired with my EOS, what is it, cashmere vanilla lotion that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So I think I'm gonna give this a try. 
Okay, so I've mentioned this item before all the time here on my channel, but the EOS Tools Dry Brush is actually a really great tool to use for exfoliating, especially with us transitioning to the spring and warmer weather, because you want your skin to be smooth. You want to get hydrated and glowy. You want to give that girl. Obviously, I love this so much, especially since I do get Brazilian waxes, this is really good to exfoliate to prevent ingrown hairs. But also you can use it like on your body to give you like that smooth look that we were talking about. While we're over here, let's get into Dr. Teal's. I've been working out a lot lately and sometimes the workouts really just be doing me in. So I want to stock up on my Epsom salt. Uh, I don't know, I usually like to use the Soothe Sleep Epsom salt. I feel like it helps me a lot, especially when paired with their lavender um what is it bubble bath foaming bath but my brother has been using like the rosemary mint essential oils one and so i don't know which one i should get i low-key might just stick with what i know and get the lavender essential oil and get the bubble bath to go with it as well i think that's what i'm gonna do All right, we just made it to the skincare aisle. I had to pick up my trusty tried and true CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I absolutely love this facial wash. I have combination skin, but like oily and like my T-zones or whatever, and I've never had any problems with this. It helps reduce my oils, and I feel like it obviously cleans my skin, especially after wearing like makeup and stuff. So I absolutely love this facial wash, and I'm still trying to figure out what my ideal am and pm skincare routine is but i've been using the is it the roche hosier i don't know if i'm pronouncing this correctly it makes me feel like thermal water spray in the morning to like refresh my skin before putting on like sunscreen since i do like to use my serums and like toner and stuff at night depending on you know what my skin needs and whatnot so i highly recommend trying this out if you haven't already and if you have definitely comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts on it for sensitive skin it's supposed to soothe and protect like a natural antioxidant so yeah so i made it kind of to, like where the serums are and i could have sworn i saw witch hazel over here but i guess it must be somewhere else but i want to put you guys on this toner that i love i've been using the glow recipe toner but the first toner i've ever used was by good molecules they're nice cinnamon brightening toner oh my gosh i absolutely love this stuff the only reason why i don't use it now is because the glow recipe one i don't know it just moisturizes my skin i feel like a little more compared to the brightening toner but yeah i definitely love that toner if you want to give it a try but also I see that Natrium has their other serums up here and I've heard really good things about them. Like they have like a vitamin C super serum plus. It's supposed to hydrate, brighten, smooth, firm, and target fine lines and wrinkles. I wanted to, oh, this is what I wanted y'all. They have their, the smoother glycolic acid body lotion. I used the body wash. So I was like, hmm. Would the lotion give me like double, bang for my buck if that makes any sense but they also have like a kp body scrub and mask interesting it's supposed to instantly transform bumpy dry rough and dull skin it has like chemical exfoliants scrub grips polishes and smooth skin used as a mask for an effective in shower treatment hmm but since i got the tea tree hut i'm like should i try this out i'm gonna try this one out y'all so we're gonna give this a try so we're in the natural hair care section, but I want to show you guys this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Oil Mist. I've seen literally, focus? I've seen literally everybody and their mama use this mist. And I feel like, like I mentioned, with spring coming up, I kind of want to, you know, revamp and refresh. And I feel like this will definitely moisturize my skin, but also give me like that glow. Especially since I'm gonna pair it with, can you guess, can you guess? my eos cashmere vanilla lotion if you're true to this not new to this you already know i absolutely love this lotion so i feel like that paired with the body mist oh baby talk to me nice man talk to me at all but we're here at the hair care section and surprisingly this one is a little better than the one i went to a few months ago they actually have my extreme wet line a few things let me show y'all sorry for the lighting it's so dark in here you guys but the um african pride pre shampoo this right here is so amazing especially when taking out your braids i always love to use it 
So you know, detangle and condition, really just set the mood and set the base for when I get ready to add shampoo to my hair. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. With the weather getting warmer, it's definitely time for me to start doing my washing goes again. And I absolutely love the Extreme Wet Line Gel. I feel like it's the only thing that really like sets my curls and keeps the hole there through all types of humidity. So definitely wanna give that a try. I'm trying to think what else over here screams ooh. Ooh, actually pause. Have you guys heard of Curl Days? I think she's an influencer, a YouTuber, and I've been hearing really good things about her products. She has like a glossy shine gel, which is supposed to be good for like braid outs, wash and goes, twist outs, and for like your edges. Okay, I wish it had like what the hold is, cause as someone with like kinky curly hair, I definitely need something with good hold. One more hair care item that I wanna show you guys. And this section is Miel. I've heard that Miel has been coming back. So I've been seeing a lot of people rave about the Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. And I wanna kinda give it a try. Like I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's supposed to be infused with like biotin, which is supposed to encourage longer, healthier hair. But it's supposed to restore deep, moisturizing, penetrating mask for dry, thirsty tresses. I think I'm gonna use this for when I wash my hair my little silk press so i'm gonna give that a try and i think ooh, sign essential also has like a lot of really good products as well my hairstylist was using it to do my hair so i'm gonna have to try the sign essentials out again you know run it back for the one time okay so i made it to the fancy beauty section and ulta beauty and I'm trying to figure out what I want to invest in this spring. I absolutely love the Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. I'm not really like a mascara girly. I usually get like my lashes done, but that mascara, that's a game changer. And in terms of like lip glosses from Fenty, the only one I've used so far is Hot Chocolate. I absolutely love that one. I've been seeing a lot of people also talk about like Riri. And so I look, he might give this one a try and i know that they just came out with their concealers i haven't really given them a try i'm still trying to figure out concealers in and of themselves as a beginner and makeup i'm gonna just try out the gloss for right now and then see what else i can find later on you know throughout the spring season So when it comes to my shaving cream, I love EOS. I don't know if I want the Vanilla Bliss or the Lavender. I'm kind of like my Vanilla High right now. So maybe I'll do the Vanilla Bliss. I think that's what I want to do. I don't know, which razor should I try? In terms of my razors, I think I'm gonna try the Hydro Silk one. It says it's for like sensitive skin, expert care. So I guess we'll give this a try. Good how Target on a Sunday afternoon was packed. Never again will I try to film at Target on a Sunday afternoon. But anyways, as you guys saw, I didn't find everything that I needed to get in Target. So we're going to go to Ulta Beauty. I just need to get like a few things like lip pencils, some lip gloss, nothing too crazy, just a little something so that my best friend Zoe can teach me some, you know, makeup tips and tricks that I can implement this spring with the warmer weather coming around. You know, I just want to, you know, give refreshed. I want to give revived. I want to give, ooh, who's that girl? Okay, so let's go to Ulta. So I just got to Ulta Beauty, and remember how I was telling you guys I was trying to find the NYX Butter Gloss and Maybelline? I found her, and I'm just so excited. I wanna make sure, this is Maybelline. Oh, that is not, did they put it in the wrong section? Here we go. Maybelline, it's like this brown gloss that I was trying to tell you guys about, period. They also have the brownie dip lip gloss that I was looking for as well. Now if I can just find a liner and espresso, that would literally make me the happiest girl in the world. A liner and espresso. 
found all of my lip items. I'm gonna show them with you guys when I get home. But so de Janeiro, I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They have like all these really cool fragrances, particularly the Brazilian Crush 62. It has like pistachio and salted caramel. Y'all, this perfume is so good. It just screams like warm vanilla, like we're outside type of vibes. It has notes of pistachio and salted caramel. I've never tried their like bum bum cream, but I've heard really good things about that as well. But let me go check out Pattern Beauty and then I'm gonna go home. So I found the pattern section, but I was looking for their hair clips that I had used in like one of my videos when I was blow drying my hair. I'll link it up in the cards to check it out. But I was looking for those hair clips and I cannot find them. So I'm probably just gonna have to use like these regular black hair clips to kind of keep my hair out of my face for right now. But if you haven't tried Pattern Beauty, this is not sponsored at all. I absolutely love their products. One thing in particular that I love is their leave-in conditioner. Oh my gosh, let me see if I can find it. Their leave-in conditioner is really that girl. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. I love the leave-in conditioner, especially for like thick, coily hair in the winter <laughs> to really moisturize your hair. I'm trying to think, what's something else that I absolutely love from them? They have a, um, what is it called? A mousse. I like their mousse. It just doesn't have a lot of hold for me, but when I do like a twist out, um, and I had paired it with their curling custard, styling custard. It was pretty cool, but again, it didn't have like a lot of hold. So I would recommend using the curl mousse with a gel that works really good with your hair. For me, it'd be Wetland String Gel, but I highly recommend those two for like a really cool, defined, curly, voluminous twist out. I think that's all I'm going to get here at Ulta. I don't spend too much money today. All right, you guys, so I just got back home, and so I'm going to do a little haul, showing you guys things that I got from Tarjay and from Ulta Beauty. Let me show you guys how much stuff I got. I got quite a bit of stuff. Oh, hold on. Like, ah, do you see how much stuff is in? The Target bag is literally ripping. <laughs> That's how much stuff I got. It might be a little lengthy, but I'm gonna try to keep it as condensed as possible, but I have so much I have to show you guys. So first things first, like I mentioned before, I am in my beginner makeup girly era. I'm trying to figure out what style I feel like fits my vibe and my personality. This year I'm trying to, not trying to, this year I'm elevating myself in all areas of my life and one being makeup. So let me show you guys some of the items that I picked up. First things first, if you guys saw in Target, I was so upset that they did not have this lip combo that I was looking for because I saw this really pretty girl on TikTok. She was using it and I was like, you know what? I need a lip combo. So she had used the NYX liner in the shade Rebel Kind and then she had paired it with the NYX Fat Oil in the shade Status Update. And then she also paired it on top with the NYX Better Gloss in the shade Madeline, Madeline. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's like such a pretty brown nude lip color on like dark skin. So I was like, baby, I need this, okay, I need this. That's a lip combo, I didn't get everything that I saw the other girl use, but I did also pick up, I got the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Espresso. And then I also got the NYX Better Gloss one in the shade brownie drip and then the other one in the shade fortune cookie so with this one it was giving more like that nude lip that people be using when they have like a full face of makeup and i thought that's actually really cute like i could see myself using this as well and then i also showed you guys in target that i got the fenty beauty gloss balm in the shade riri if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is the shade that I've seen everybody and their mama using on social media. Really cute, like purple color. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so cute, especially with like some blush. Oh, so cute. And then I also mentioned the Squeeze Me Lip Balm from e.l.f. It kind of reminds me of like my Laneige lip balm. So I want to give this a try and see if it's a cute dupe or if it's, you know, just going to do what it's supposed to do. Right. For my feminine hygiene items, I honestly did not get a lot this time. I still have a lot from the last time I went shopping and then I kind of restocked before I did this haul. So in the next haul, I'll make sure to show you guys more of my feminine hygiene stuff. But I did make sure to pick up my Honey Pot Co. liners and pads. 
In between using tampons, I 10 out of 10 highly recommend these. I love how they're herbal infused and I feel like they help me with not having as many cramps. I don't know, like maybe it's just me, but I feel like these liners or pads paired with, you know, my herbal green tea with honey in the morning, make sure that I'm drinking water. And then my little heating pad, oh baby, I haven't had cramps in a while. So do the information as you will, but yeah. These two are so good. I made sure to get like the overnight pads to use obviously at night. And then I also got the little um, thinner pads to use during the day or as my cycle is, you know, dwindling down. So that's honestly all that I got for the feminine hygiene area. I know, not a lot, but let's move on. Okay, moving on to the hair care section. If you know anything about my channel, you know that I absolutely love natural hair products. I love natural hair and the authenticity that comes with like our natural hair and like how diverse our natural hair is. I just love all things natural hair. But for this particular haul, I didn't want to focus too much on natural hair care products. I will be doing a separate haul or a separate video where I put you guys on some of my favorite products to use in the spring slash summer since I do tend to focus more on like protective styles and like wash and goes when the weather is more warmer considering how I live in the south and the humidity is crazy down here crazy I showed you guys these two items back in Target but I just got the Miguel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask it is infused with biotin I've actually never used this hair mask I've heard such good things about it and I was like you know what girl let's give it a try it smells pretty good this is the consistency it's thick and creamy and I love thick and creamy hair masks I just feel like they add so much moisture to my hair when I use them so I'm really excited to use this when I do wash my hair and I also got my tried and true wet line extreme gel I feel like this is the one gel that has never let me down I absolutely love using it for wash and goes twist outs braid outs all of those things 10 out of 10 I recommend and also it's a curly girl with thins hair i really love how this comes with like a 32 ounce like do you see how big this bottle is this will probably last me for a hot minute not even gonna hold you and last thing i had got was this hair clip from pattern beauty i got this at ulta i actually already have one of these but i'm pretty sure i broke one of the tongs or whatever on it and so now that my hair is straight you know sometimes child i want to have my hair out of my face like i mentioned with spring coming up i like to do more wash and goes and i absolutely love doing like the claw clip wash and go where it's like a half up half down oh chef's kiss i feel like that hairstyle just screams spring so i'm definitely excited to bring that back this season Whew, all right so the next section is my body and skin skincare i just decided to lump these all together because i don't really feel like trying to separate them but I did mention some of these to you guys in Target but the other ones I didn't so we're gonna get into this to see what's new and what's true for my shaving cream and razor I always use like the EOS shaving cream I got this one in the scent vanilla bliss uh, I just love all things vanilla like I mentioned to you guys I just feel like it screams spring like vanilla fresh Charismatic, like that just I don't know like if you get the vibes you get the vibes I also wanted to try out the hydro silk expert care sensitive razor it's supposed to come with five blades but I'm really excited to give this a try and when it comes to razors I used to not really care about the quality of them but as I am getting older and I have noticed you know just little things between using like more I don't say high-end because I don't equate price with quality but i will say that i've noticed that the ones that are a little more i have a little more love in them i guess you could say they don't cause as much irritation to my skin i don't know i just enjoy them better if that makes sense but yeah so i'm just gonna give these a try I'm so excited i haven't shaved my legs <laughs> since like january <laughs> next thing oh yeah i showed you guys the dr teal's foaming bath with pure epsom salt with vanilla essential oils one thing about me, I love me a good essential oil. I love me some lavender, especially before going to bed. I feel like it really just sets the tone and it gets me into that state of peace, that state of tranquility before I go to sleep, right? And so, like I mentioned to you guys before, I am working out. I've been working out for a while, but I'm getting back into the routine of working out consistently and working out with an intensity that is not my norm. And so with that, child, I be sore, okay? I be sore, and I've been doing a lot more soaking with Epsom salt and even like using the foaming bath like I mentioned. So I just picked up the matching Epsom salt and lavender. So I'm really excited with those. Can't wait to give them a try on my next lower body day, which is tomorrow actually. <laughs> so when it comes to like hydration and moisturizing myself, 
in the spring slash summer. I'm not gonna say I don't focus as much on like heavy thick creams, but more so I wanna make sure that the products that I use are still hydrating, but it doesn't have to be like as thick. If that makes sense. So I did, as always, I picked up my tried and true EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. This just smells so freaking good, you guys. It's lightweight, it's soft, it's smooth. And it's just all the things that I love and adore. One thing I will say that is so annoying with this is I feel like by the time you get halfway down and you're using the pump, the pump doesn't really work. So I have to take this um, cap off and like literally start beating it to make sure that I get it out. Cause it's like, it'd be halfway gone, but like the pump doesn't work anymore. And I don't want to let that go to waste. But I was thinking with the body lotion, I normally use like a body oil, preferably like the Taraji P. Henson. She has like a vanilla um, body oil. I've used it before on my channel. But then even also like the cocoa butter, Vaseline cocoa butter body oil. I like that one as well. But I want to give this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Oil Mist a try. My boyfriend, his mom actually uses this. And, and her skin is just so beautiful. And I've seen so many other people use this. And I was like, I'm going to give it a try. It's supposed to condition dry rub skin. It's supposed to get smoother, more even skin. In a week, it has oils such as like sunbeam oil, oak oil, kernel oil, Jehovah seed oil, and that kind of thing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love how it just looks lightweight. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to use... Oh, it smells so good. I'm telling y'all, these two right here, if you ever wonder what I'm using my skin, I just feel like these two are going to be a good combo. In my last haul, back in late January, I had mentioned the Loom Whole Body Deodorant, and I was like, I've heard such good things about this, but I haven't given it a try. What do you guys think? And a lot of you guys are like, I need to stop sleeping on Loom and give it a try. So, what did I do? I got it! <laughs> Let's try it. Rate it 1 through 10. <laughs> But I just got like the Loom um, Whole Body Deodorant. I got it in the scent Clean Tangerine. And it says it's for like pits, privates, and beyond. And with it getting warmer, I tend to sweat a lot more. Obviously under my arms, under my breasts, and down my back. I feel like that's probably normal for some people. But I want to see if this will kind of help combat that a little bit. And just kind of like, you know, do a little test trial with it so that when summer comes around, I can really have my routine down packed in terms of like deodorant and like what's going to help me, I guess, not sweat as much, even though I know sweating is natural, child. It's natural. You can't stop that. But, you know, sometimes I be wanting to wear like a cute outfit. I don't want to have to worry about sweat dripping down my back, you know? So I did not mention this item to you guys in Target. There were so many people around. I was like, you know what? We're just going to grab some of these items and... Let that be that. But I have been using Witch Hazel as like an extra, what do you call it? An extra cleanser, if that makes any sense. So like whenever I get out of the shower, obviously like I have my base cleanser, my other cleanser, a body wash, you know, I might exfoliate. Like after I do all that stuff and I get out of the shower, I do like to use Witch Hazel and I put some on a cotton pad and I make sure to like, you know, get between my ears, around my ears, get between my belly buttons. I make sure to use it like under my armpits um, just to help deodorize those areas and just make sure that those areas are really clean. I just feel like as I'm elevating myself in 2024, I want to pay more attention to, you know, the nooks and crannies and just making sure that I am tending to all parts of my body and, you know, just making sure that everything is clean and set, you know, just ready to go throughout the day. So I have been using Witch Hazel to do that and 10 out of 10, I highly recommend, you know, it gently cleanses, it conditions, you know, it refines your pores to maintain clear skin without over drying. And I don't think this has alcohol. I hope it does anyways so yeah that's like a skincare hack i've been using and i do plan to make a whole nother video on like things all skincare hair and beauty related as i am elevating myself in 2024 but comment down below some things that you want me to mention within those videos i'll be happy to include them i mentioned this in my last target haul as well the natrium oh uh, hello tiktok did their big one and putting the girlies on with this i feel like when it first came out it was so hard to find the smoother glycolic acid body wash but now i feel like the hype has kind of died down and it's not as hard to find them i absolutely love this one i feel like it helps my skin to look even tone to look smoother it says it's supposed to gently exfoliate your surfaces to reveal smoother softer skin and i feel like it honestly truly does just that i absolutely love using this particularly with my african um sponge neck <laughs> baby chef's kiss if you want smoother softer even toned skin this right here 
amazing. But as I was going down the aisles, I saw that they had like a KP body scrubbing mask. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try because I saw this the last time I was in Target. And I was like, I feel like it doesn't hurt. Especially, like I mentioned, trying to get smoother, more glowy, even toned skin in the spring. Cause I just feel like spring screams like you're blossoming. It screams renewed, refresh. And I just wanna give that. Like I feel like if you feel good, you look good. What's the word? Ha! <laughs> I feel like if you look good, you feel good. And for me, that means just placing more emphasis on things that I feel adds more security to me. So like, you know, making sure that I'm using a good body cleanser, um, a good mask, a good exfoliator, um, you know, even like the body oil, just using things that I feel like will accentuate and enhance my natural, you know, skin texture and melanin and whatnot. That's what I'm going for this spring. So yeah, I'm really excited to give this scrub and mask a try. Next, in terms of like body and skincare, I mentioned this to you guys, the Tree Hut Vanilla Scrub. I just feel like this paired with my EOS lotion and the oil will be a uh, chef's kiss. On top of using my African sponge nip. This smells so good, y'all. It's very like light in terms of scent. Like it's not overpowering, which I really enjoy. And then I mentioned this also, my Eco Tools dry brush you're supposed to use it before showering i particularly like to use it to exfoliate i do get um waxes and so you know in between waxes you need to keep up with your exfoliation to prevent ingrown hairs and all that jazz so i've been using this and i've been noticing a huge difference within that lastly like i said the body and skincare section was so long but the last two items that i have again i mentioned this before my tried and true CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. I absolutely love this. It's supposed to cleanse and remove dirt without disrupting the protective skin barriers. I've been using this probably for a year, if not a year and a half. And I absolutely love this. I haven't really tried anything else. Like with me, it's like once something works, I don't really experiment too much, especially when it comes to my face. And then lastly, I just have my Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. Like I mentioned before, I do have sensitive skin. And so, just having some things remain the same within my hygiene has helped a lot in that area. And if I do happen to like transition, I try not to transition too much with using different things. Like most of the stuff that I've mentioned in terms of like, you know, scrubs and stuff, I've used this before. Now this one, we're gonna have to try it on like a little piece of skin and see how that goes. But I feel like everything else, I should be good with. All right, last but not least, my oral hygiene. I don't really focus that much on this either, mainly because Target didn't have a lot of what I was looking for. So when I do an updated, or I guess more like summer haul, I'll definitely make sure to include more of my oral hygiene stuff. But I mentioned this item before, my TheraBreath mouthwash. 10 out of 10, I love this stuff. I love how it's not, as strong as like Listerine. Whenever I use Listerine, it would like burn the inside of my mouth. And I did not like that. Even though I sometimes used to think that the burning sensation meant that it was working. Now I'm just like, all right, now you're doing too much. Now you're doing too much. But with this one, you don't really have that burning sensation, but your breath, your breath, but your mouth does still feel refreshed, right? It does still feel revived. And so I've been using this for probably about a year now. I absolutely love this one. And then lastly, I have my Grin Smooth Gentle Floss. Just trying to get back into flossing and being more consistent with this. I do want to invest in one of those, um, the water flossers. I feel like using the water floss paired with my mouthwash and then also flossing outside of that would really, I feel like take my oral care to the next level. I do, what is it called, oil pooling where you um, use like coconut oil or the, I'll put a picture or link it down below of the exact one that I use, but you just like gargle it in your mouth for like three to 10 minutes every day and then you brush your teeth and all that jazz. And I have noticed a difference with my oral hygiene in that sense in terms of like, you know, bad breath in the morning or, you know, my teeth feeling, you know, a little whiter, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. But that is it for my spring hygiene haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys learned something new, were able to take away some tips and tricks that you can implement into your routines this spring and with warmer weather approaching. As always, don't forget to comment down below some items that you wanna try, what items you have tried, and what things you think I should try, you know, implement within my hygiene 
routine. But as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you enjoy this type of content. Don't forget to subscribe and that bell notification so that if I every time I post a video, we would love to have you join us on the Zero community. We're pretty lit over here. I feel like we're a girl's girl. You know, we have good vibes over here or whatever. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.